is the C3 News Show. Good morning, beautiful creatures of the Chaos Universe. I am Khaleesi and I am happy to welcome you back to day three of our remote chaos experience. I hope you had your six hours of sleep and hopefully have a coffee in your hand or a mat by your side and maybe having your breakfast over our news. There were so many things yesterday. We almost accidentally leaked a video premiere. You can rewatch all our shows on YouTube and as well on Media CCC. So, what else have we been up to? I hope you discovered the R3 universe. I hadn't had the time to take a look yet, but I heard we have our own news show place someone created for us, and there was a lot of other stuff going on. If you think we are super busy, I know someone who's certainly even more busy, but last night he took the time to sit down for an interview. We already streamed this interview last night, but for all of you that were asleep by then, we thought, why not resend it? So, the stage is yours, Linus. Hi, thanks for having me. What is your message for the RC3 crowd? You're doing a great job. I still hope we'll meet again in person next year or the year after that. And if you're not vaccinated yet, Please get vaccinated. What changed for you if you compare this year's of an RCO3 experience to last year's experience? For me, the biggest change was that the studios run their own content curation. So they have their individual CFPs, invited some speakers, uh, made the choice uh, which ones to accept, which ones to reject. So all this content teamwork that for a Congress starts in September, is like two, three months of hard work, uh, was not necessary for me this year. So this resulted in a far less stressful uh, preparation time and uh, you know way more time to enjoy uh, RC3. The crowd came up with awesome ideas to make the Congress a virtual experience. Which ideas or concepts, pieces of code or software would you like to see integrated in the next physical Congress? Well, new challenges breed new solutions and new creative potential that was released for RC3, absolutely. Um, and I'm curious which of these ideas will be transferable to a real life Congress, right? We had a couple of ideas that we wanted to transfer from real life Congress to RC3. Um, many worked, others didn't, and some things actually changed. And I think the same will be true with the new ideas from RC3 when we begin to transfer them to a real life Congress. And it's hard to predict which ones uh, you know, will work and which ones won't. What part of RC3 did you enjoy the most? Well, it's always hard to pick like a single talk and, and recommend it. A couple of my highlights have already been aired, so I've already seen them. And I should note that I am not like the kind of guy that, you know, has a conference plan and, you know, sees, okay, what am I going to watch now? What am I going to watch now? I'm more or less like a consumer. I just let it play. And, you know, sometimes I uh, switch to a talk that I didn't expect to be particularly interesting. And I'm absolutely um, fascinated by it. So I'm more like a Zappa guy, you know, I don't have a TV. So this is the one time in my in my life that I can sit at home and switch channels and uh, go go zapping. So I that that is uh, what I do. Which talk or workshop are you looking forward to participate in? So I had a small role in a talk together with uh, the Zerforschung Collective about vulnerability disclosure, but this was really like a very small uh, appearance that I had there. And I'll do a soldering workshop tomorrow with my neighbors. We'll repair uh, amateur and ham radios and uh, watch the RCC, RC3 streams. Wow. And what did you personally do to make this RC3 a worthwhile experience for yourself? 
So the one thing I can never do at a Congress is take part in workshops um, and actually solder something, do some tinkering. So this is what I'm looking forward to, uh, that we can now sit at home, you know, have the soldering station and everything ready and some, maybe some software projects to hack on and, you know, drink some mate and some tea or whatever, and just have a, a way more relaxed uh, afternoon with uh, actually getting some soldering, tinkering and some making done, maybe. See you soon. Yeah, thank you for having me and uh, have fun. Thank you so much, Linus, for taking the time. It's always a pleasure having you in our show. Remember how I talked about the Chaos Pass yesterday? Well, we got great news. They just added us to their shortlist. So you can easily find us and drop us a postcard or anything else you like. Talking about postcards, they just added six special cards for the RC3 newware to their stack. So go and check out the Chaos Post. In every show we introduce amazing teams and cool channels and this time it's a team I think we can't do without. Making sure that everyone is comfortable and gets help, help if needed, it's our awareness team. We caught them for an interview, so let's see what they have to tell us. Who are you? I am Kai, pronouns are they, them, and I'm a member of the awareness team for now seven years. Okay, and what the hell does the awareness team do? The awareness team is uh, part of a helpful team uh, of which we have a few. You can find them on the info page in the platform, and we you can think of us as a social help desk where you can go with every problem of the social kind, like that ranges from I'm alone and I don't have any social contacts. I just need someone to talk to, to I experience discrimination on the con on the RC3 or I have a report or something. Uh, this also reaches us. And as I mentioned, the info page, there is a lot of information there. I couldn't say it all. So just go there and we are reachable by very many means. Primarily decked on one three. Okay, so if I want to contact you, I just go on the info page and look up the contact details. That would be perfect. And if you want to know more, there's a workshop, What's Awareness? It's on day three at 16 o'clock. Nice. And since we, uh, we're having a digital conference this year again, <laughs> um, what's different to, to normal Congress for your team? What's different is that you can just lay down on your bed and uh, that doesn't work on labs where you can not just go. So the problem here is much more how to get social because there are not 16,000 people running around. So please contact us. Uh, I encourage you to contact us if you're feeling lonely, if you don't get along, if you just don't get anyone to talk to and just there are a lot of pixel avatars, but they don't really work for you. Contact us and we will see. We can talk a bit, you get a bit more social. Maybe that works for you. That's my encouragement to you. Thank you, Kai. And that's it for us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Awareness, for your work and also for this really cool interview. We covered all the cool stuff, the crews, the th bits from our 2D world. And now you might think what to do next. Well, of course, go explore the RC3 world, maybe watch some earlier shows to see what we found there. But besides that, we have some amazing pieces on the far plan. What is better than math in the morning? I always do it to wake up, right? At 12.30 at Chaos West TV, there will be a talk about math for hackers. Math and hacking, two separate worlds and Odds or lo secret lovers? Lovers, of course. How so, you might ask. Math is boring and useless, and hacking is great fun, of course. Well, I try to change your mind. That sounds quite interesting, but there is something else. The Hexen decided to host a talk that goes way down the rabbit hole. At 12.30, 
they will host a coffee fad in Darknet. So get your coffee ready, I guess. Catherine and Isabel, hosts of the podcast Mind the Tech, go through the Darknet travel guide with you. They explain where it is, how to get there, what type of characters can be found there. <laughs> That might get interesting. How the routing works and how everything can be so anonymous. That will be explained and a lot of more things. But they will also demystify some myth in the subsequent Q&A in the BBB. And they take requests for visits to special sites. Well, let's start the two. And with that, I send you off to day three. I hope you enjoy your time in the RT3 nowhere world and experience some great talks. Maybe I will have time to catch up some of you in the 2D world. I'm Khaleesi and we see each other again at 2.30.